Welcome to this meeting. I called you all in here today to discuss a plan that I have put in place. This is not an easy option for me, but it nonetheless necessary to spark major changes in society. Everyone is just uncivil and treats no one with respect. And before anyone says, well, that's not how the world works. That's not how the world works because that's not how we want it to work apparently. So, because the dirt and scum of our community won't change their ways willingly, we are going to take action into our own hands. Provide a little push, if you know what I mean. So tomorrow morning, we begin. We will execute Code 7. After this, society will have no choice but to change for the better. If they don't, well, then this entire place goes boom. All men, gather supplies and get prepared for the main event, because tonight is showtime. Listen up, everyone. Everyone down now. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Milwaukee Police Department. Active shooter at Tequila Night Club in Milwaukee. Multiple civilians in and out of the club have reported hearing multiple shots fired inside the club. Run, hide, fight. Stay away from the area. This is an active crime scene. Stay tuned to local media and news outlets on this dangerous situation. Okay everyone, listen up, and well, you might just get lucky, me and my posse are in charge now. We have bombs in here, and guns, we are not afraid to use them, so just so you know, you might want to do what we say, quickly and without question or, everyone in this room will get blown to Mars. First order of business, lay down on your belly, keep your hands on your head, face to, the floor and shut the up. Do not speak unless you are asked to. You move, you die. Now time to make a phone call. Milwaukee Police Department, how can we help you? Well, there is actually something you can do for me. But more importantly, the hundreds of people we have hostage here at the Tequila Nightclub. Excuse me. Yeah. You heard me. We have live hostages here at the nightclub, and we have bombs as well. We will kill everyone if our demands are not met. Sir, why are you holding these innocent people hostage? Believe me, I don't want to. But, this is for the sake of change. Sometimes you have to cause a major problem, to end a major problem. But why are you holding innocent people hostage? What are you looking to gain from this? Okay. So here's what's going to happen. Me and my posse have hundreds of people trapped inside of the nightclub with multiple bombs. We will detonate them in approximately two hours if our demands are not met. What demands? First order of business. You will outlaw drugs, alcohol, assault weapons, and enforce a law of acceptance of everyone in the community. You will outlaw discrimination and any type of violence towards another group. What? How do you expect us to just force everybody to change? How on earth do you expect us to ban alcohol, drugs, and weapons? We're not going to take away people's rights here. You don't want to change things? That's all right. We'll just kill everybody instead. But you got two hours to make up your mind. Oh, and by the way, we are also armed with guns. So why not help motivate you a little? Every 15 minutes our demands are not met. We will kill one person in this room. 
So if you actually care about the people in this room, you may want to hurry. Or else. Jesus Christ. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Milwaukee Police Department. This is a follow-up to the dangerous situation at the Tequila Nightclub. A phone call between an individual and police have revealed that a live hostage situation is ongoing. The perpetrators are unknown, but claim to have explosives in the club. Avoid the area. Law enforcement is currently trying to de-escalate the situation. In the meantime, Everyone within 5 miles of the Tequila Nightclub are advised to seek shelter or evacuate now. Stay tuned to local media for more information on this dangerous situation. Well 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 y'all, the first 15 minutes is up, still nothing, so who shall it be for this one? Any volunteers? Please don't. We're moving as fast as we can to enforce these laws. Sorry, gentlemen. You failed the first 15 minutes. So that means... What the hell did you just do? 15 more minutes until another one goes down. If I were you, I'd hurry your ass up. Now as for all of you, I want you all to pull out your phones and stream this to whatever platform you use. I don't care which one. Just stream. Now. Why are you streaming this? Oh, I just want to show everyone what greedy people you are when you don't give in to my demands and cause the deaths of a hundred people. Sir, this doesn't need to happen. Oh shut up. Just watch and listen as we reveal your true colors. Are we live? Yes sir. Perfect. Hello everyone this is Jacob Collins, leader of a domestic military group. You are watching a live debacle of the Tequila Nightclub in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. We got our wonderful hundreds of cooperating people here helping us out, but be warned, if you end our stream, we will kill everyone here. So be smart, it will save lives. Now join us, as we explain our terms in favor of a better world. You've got mail. We have a hostage situation unfolding at the Tequila Nightclub. We have reports of hundreds of hostages and multiple bombs. We need all officers on deck immediately. We will do our best to de-escalate the situation, but if all else fails, we need you to rush in and take them out. The priority is to stop the perpetrators and save lives. Do not publicly disclose this message due to privacy reasons. Thank you. Well police negotiators, another dead body due to your slowness, how many more people you want dead? You only have an hour and 13 more minutes. Jacob, I ask you to please stop killing innocent people. We're trying to work with you here, now please try and work with us. I'm sorry, but this isn't your ballpark buddy. You don't make the rules for this one. Now get moving, in fact, why don't we just kick some things up a notch, just, to watch you hustle. Jacob. Jacob, what are you doing? Oh dear God. This is a civil danger warning for Milwaukee. This alert applies to anyone in a two mile radius of the Tequila Nightclub. Multiple people from inside the club have been shooting at civilians outside. Stay away from the area. This is a dangerous situation. Jacob, what the hell, man? I ain't playing with y'all. I done told y'all that a million times now, so 
Are you going to meet into our demands now? Jacob, for heaven's sakes, you have to give us a little bit of time here. You've already had an hour or so. That should have been more than enough time. Now step on it, unless you want more people to die. This is a civil emergency message from Milwaukee effective until further notice. This is an update regarding the Tequila Nightclub hostage situation that has been going on over the past hour. The scene is still active, and there have been confirmed injuries and fatalities in that area. Due to the threat of a potential bomb explosion in the area, citizens are asked to remain vigilant. Evacuation has been authorized for everyone who wishes to flee the city due to the ongoing situation. Remain away from the club and remain indoors until further notice. Tick-tock, tick-tock, only 49 minutes left. You're running out of time. We're going as fast as we can with this. We're not getting any response from lawmakers. Then you better tell them to hurry up if they care about the lives in this room. So why punish them if your beef is with the lawmakers? Well, I think it's well proven by now that the men and women in the big seats don't give a rip about anyone. God knows they won't change anything willingly, so I figured I'd provide a little force. But looks like even that won't be enough, huh? Pathetic. There's better ways to go about this, Mr. Collins. Is there though? Because what we have been doing for years, which is nothing, clearly isn't working, one way or another. You can bet your house that this whole situation will get some talk, going in Congress, at the minimum. So you're doing this for your political views? Really? Politics? What the hell does politics have to do about this? Y'all hear this guy? This isn't about politics. This is about safety. You people always have to make things political, don't you? Yeah, whatever, Jacob. Just bear with us here. Okay, but you got 45 minutes. So move it. Okay, this guy is serious. What are we gonna do? There's no way the demands will be met in time. If the demands aren't met at the two minute mark, we're going to have to rush in and take them down. Sarge, that doesn't seem like a good idea. Especially considering the bombs. Well, does anyone have an alternative? Guess not. Exactly. If all else fails, we go in and take these guys out. We might not save everyone, but we have to try. Now stand by. Well, everyone looky here. Fifteen minutes left until the party begins, and still nothing. How do y'all feel about your local department, the people you trust with your life, being so slow? And not even caring? Seems they have just completely given up. The negotiator hung up, and there seems to be nothing more to protect y'all. Now, now you know what it is like to be abandoned by the ones you trust to protect your life. Now you know how it feels to have no one looking over you. Felt the same level of betrayal from the cops when my family was murdered in a home. Invasion. They didn't show up for 42 minutes after that happened. Now they have abandoned you too at your most desperate hour. Feels so empty doesn't it? Well, don't worry. In 15 minutes, every misery you've ever suffered will be over. Ladies and gentlemen, don't look at death as an ending, look at it as a beginning, a beginning, of no more suffering, no more having to look over your shoulders every time you go out in public to make sure, no one is about to start something, no more stubbing your toe on a damn mailbox or table. No more 9 to 5s. No more pain or misery that life has to offer. You ever wonder to yourself what the point of all this is? Many of us pretend to know that there's something out there, when in reality, we don't. But what is the point of life? To suffer? You see, death provides a release from all troubles. Hell, most of you hate getting up for work before the sunrise. Don't blame you. Well, guess what? In 12 minutes now, you can sleep forever.
no more having to wake up. This, ladies and gentlemen, this is paradise. So embrace it. Don't fear it, because regardless how much we whine or cry about it, nothing stops the inevitable fate that awaits every single life form. It's the same fate the dinosaurs had to face. It's the fate humanity will have to face. It's a fate the earth itself will have to face someday. Life doesn't last forever people. We all must do our part. Don't hate me, the police have failed you all. So folks, near 10 minute warning. Make your last minutes count. You have any goodbyes, say am now. Well guys, 3 minutes left. The window has officially closed. The law has failed. Not even for the life of all of you, will they change anything. How incredibly low. So Milwaukee police, because of your failures to comply with our demands. Everyone, dies. Farewell everyone, close your eyes and hold hands together now, as we meet our ultimate fate. Drop the gun. Get on the ground now. Police get down. Drop it now. Get down now. I said drop it. Well hello. Look who joined us, and just in time for the grand finale too. It's over scumbag. Oh, it's over all right. Now last chance, drop it and get on the ground now. Drop it? Well, if you insist. No. Everyone run! Get out now before- This is a federal danger warning for Milwaukee. At 12.24 p.m., a large explosion occurred at the Tequila nightclub. Law enforcement officials engaged with the perpetrators at the nightclub in an attempt to rescue the hostages, and shortly after, a bunch of gunshots were heard, following up with an explosion. This is a mass casualty situation. Everyone should stay out of the area until law enforcement concludes investigations. The Milwaukee Police thanks you all for your cooperation during this difficult situation. Remain indoors until further notice. This is the emergency alert system serving the Milwaukee area. We now conclude this alert. <laughs>